So in this case, as a continuation, we are going to have uh, a question, which is uh, actually from our activity, activity 1.1 of the TVET first uh, revised curriculum. That is, uh, like I said, question number four. We listed the formulas from the AC waveform, the mathematical expression, what you need uh, to understand in order to answer such type of questions. So I'm not going to waste your time, guys. We are given that an alternating EMF is represented by the equation. So this is our equation. E is equal to 277, the sine of 251,3, 270 minus pi over 4. So this is what we are given. Remember, the instantaneous value is equal to the maximum value that we have sine of omega t minus the alpha. So we have the omega there, this one, then the t, and also the phase shift uh, of uh, pi over four. So the question was, um, Determine the following on 4.1, the average value of this EMF, the average value. Remember, we have the maximum value is already given. So E max is equal to 277 volts. With the maximum value, any other calculation can be determined as it is average, the RMS value from what we had before, remember? that our average value can be determined from this formula. So we are talking about uh, the average value, the mean value. So that is average value is equal to 0 0.637 uh, times the maximum value. So meaning to say there it was just an issue of uh, substituting our values guys, 37 times the maximum value of uh, 277. So that was going to give us an average value of 176,449. So this is what we have. Uh, on another question, we are given to determine the root mean square value of this EMF, the RMS value. So that's 4.2, the RMS value, remember that's a 0 0.7, uh, 0 0.7 of the maximum value. So that's a substitution again uh, that we are going to have 0 0.7, uh, 0 0.7 times our maximum value, which is 277. So that was going to give us um, 195,839. So we have got uh, average, I mean, the RMS value from this one. And another question, the phase shift in degrees, the phase shift is the alpha that we are given here, this pi over four. Remember, this is omega t plus or minus alpha. So the pi over four. So we're given to determine that one in degrees, having the pi over four there. We talk about radians. These are radians. So it is going to be negative uh, pi over four. Remember, pi is equivalent to 180 degrees. So it can be just negative 180 divided by four, which is negative uh, 45 degrees or whatever that you are given there. The pi over four, you multiply it by 57,3 degrees. Like I said, we can use that in conversion from the radians to the degrees, all right? So if you are converting radians to the degrees, you can simply multiply by 57,3. That one, it is in your hands. It is in your hands. So we've got a first shift of what? Uh, 45 degrees, which is just uh, an idea of uh, a lagging angle. Uh, the negative there, we are subtracting from what we had originally. Uh, that's a shift of negative 45 degrees. All right, so that was our 4.3, working with the 4.4, the frequency of these EMF. The frequency definitely, we need this one from the omega. Remember we have the omega there. 
All right, so this is uh, 4.4. So the frequency from omega, we do understand that's omega over two pi. We listed this from our formula. So the value of omega is there, uh, 251,3. 27 divided by 2 pi. So that was going to give us the frequency, which is uh, 39 command. So it was going to be 9, 9, 9, 9, and so on, guys, which is going to approximate to, to 40 hertz at the end. Then another question, it was to calculate the times, meaning to say we need uh, two possible values for that. The times it takes for this EMF to reach 200 volts during the first half cycle. So during the first half cycle, when the voltage is what? 200 volts, what are the times? So how do we calculate this? How do we play around with this one? We just have to substitute because the voltage, remember the, the, the EMF, we are given an instantaneous value. These are like an instantaneous condition. So we have the values changing from one point to another until we have got maximum of 277. So now we are given a certain point when the voltage is instantaneously at 200 volts. So you just have to substitute in place of the instantaneous value. 200 is equal to 277 the sign of this part that we are given. So depending with the way that you're going to answer it, remember, we converted this one to degrees. This one is not in degrees. So it is only this part that we need to convert to degrees. We're gonna multiply by uh, 57,3 degrees. Remember, we said whatever part that you're going to have here will be in radians. So multiply that one by 57,3 you were going to get, uh, that was uh, 14,401,037 times T minus the pi over four. Remember, we already converted this one to degrees and it was what? 45. So there's no need uh, for you to convert again. Already it is uh, converted to the degrees. So you formed an equation from this statement. You formed an equation from the given statement. That is the instantaneous value of 200 is equal to this. So it is happening when the T here, the time is what? What's the value of T? When we have 200 volts here. That is the question. So we are back to our mathematics, guys. So for T, we are back to our... Uh, working with the trigonometry. We are given this type of an equation. How do you solve it, all right? So let's get rid of the 277 as it is a product. Simply divide by 277, uh, both sides, divide by 277. So that was going to cancel. So we're going to remain with the sign of the whole of this part here which is in degrees, as we see, guys, we have converted, we multiplied uh, this one by 57,3 degrees. So the whole of this part is now under degrees, unless if you are to change to radians, you use your calculator radians. So here, this section is under degrees. So how do we get rid of this side? We take it to the other side, but as we take it to the other side, it will be written as arc sine, so that will be arc sine there. Arc sine of what? 200 over 277 is equal to this part. Remember, we have removed the sign that is writing it as arc sine on this side. So that's 144,01,037t uh, minus uh, 45 degrees. So this is the idea now that I want you to understand as an individual, as you are now into mathematics, this is no longer about uh, electrotechnics, it's about your mathematics now. The wall of this part here is an angle here in degrees. So it is equivalent to what, all right? This wall part as it is, as it is like this it is supposed to be equal to the arc sine of this. 
Remember, we are talking about the first half cycle. So we are talking about uh, something that it between from zero to 360. What is going to happen is that if we are to find arc sine from our calculator, make sure that your calculator is in degrees, you must see or you must have the B here on your calculator degrees this E there. All right, so that is uh, in degrees, which is okay. So the idea here is that the arc sine of uh, 200, it was 200 over 277, like this. It is going to give us 46,22. All right, we can even uh, fix this to three decimal places. So shift, go to the setup, fix number three to three decimal places. So that's 46, comma this part. There are two possible values that we are supposed to have from zero to 360. Remember from your cast, sign being positive as it is like this. It is positive in the first and in the second quadrant. Remember from the reference angle concept, it is just like you have the reference angle. So how are we going to have the angle in the second quadrant where sine is also a positive? We are going to subtract in the second quadrant. Remember from your mathematics is 180 minus the reference angle. So that's 180 degrees minus uh, 46,22 like that. So that was going to give us another angle of uh, 133,22. Seven, seven, eight. There are two possible values that you are going to have. That's why the question is saying or it is stating, determine the times or calculate the times. If it is the time, they will just specify the time you, you have one value for T. But there they want the times. All right. So you must have two possible values. So that's it. Uh, we have got two answers that we have. So meaning to say one four, okay, let us take this one four four zero one comma zero three seven t is equal to. So we are going to take the negative four five to this one. Meaning to say it will add negative four five as it crosses the equal sign, it is going to add. So we're going to add 45 degrees. You're going to add 45 degrees here. So the first one from these two, we were going to have at the end, let's see. We add it properly. All right. What I'm just going to do, guys, uh, is that I'm just let me just write as it is so that you get the answers, guys. Then divide because of time. 45 plus 46, comma 222, like that. Then definitely we're going to divide by this one for whatever that you have. It divides both sides. All right. It divides both sides. So we're going to have the value of T. So the T, right, there's no need for our degrees here. The T that we're going to have, guys, it was going to be a decimal 0, 0,00633, 4, and so on and so on. So you can even convert to the milliseconds, multiply by 10 to the exponent of 3. So it's going to be 6, comma, so it will be 6,334 in milliseconds. All right. You do the same thing on this side. You do the same thing. You add the 45 degrees, you divide by this value. All right, so you're going to divide by this value on this side here. All right, so here we're going to divide by one, four, whatever that we have there. So if we do this, guys, we are going to have another value again is zero comma. Uh, it was going to be uh, something like this, zero comma, zero, one, two, four, something like in the seconds. So you can even convert to the milliseconds, multiply by 10 to the exponent of three, you are going to get uh, 12 comma 414, which is in what? In milliseconds. So this is the idea of uh, how you answer these questions. Just make sure the guys, you go back to your mathematical presentation, your mathematical view, how you were working your, your sign wave, your sign wave from... Uh, trigonometry there then uh 4.6 the question is the instantaneous value which means of e which is the e there 
3,6 milliseconds after the beginning of the cycle. 3,6 milliseconds is the time. We are given the time as 3,6 milliseconds. So find the instantaneous value, find E. So this one, it is just a direct substitution that you are going to make in place of what? In place of T. In place of, in place of T. So it is up to you. If you are going to use the radians as it is originally here, you can use your calculator in radians, all right? So 4.6, our time is given as 3,6 milliseconds. So to find E, we are going to substitute 277, the sign of this value times the time. So as it is originally like this, these values are in radians. So if I just substitute the T that I'm having here, make sure that your calculator is supposed to be in radians, unless you are to convert to degrees uh, by that multiplication of 57,3 if you want to avoid issue of changing your calculator. So as for me, guys, I'm just going to use as it is. So I'm just going to use my calculator in what? In radians. Three, two, seven times uh, the time. So here I'm going to substitute the time that we are given. So this is the value that we are given. Uh, 3,6 times 10 to the exponent of minus 3. All right. Minus what? Minus pi over 4 like this. So like I said, if I use this as it is without multiplying with uh, 57,3 uh, degrees, it means my calculator must be in radians. So as it is, I can just use it, guys. My calculator here, I must change. So you're going to use shift. We go to the mod, which is set up. Then radians, it's number four. Radian, you press four. So our calculator is, we can see it is now having the R there on top, meaning to say it is now in radians. It is now in radians. So if you want to avoid, guys, it's up to you. So that's 277. The sign of uh, 251,327 times uh, 3,6 times 10 to the exponent of uh, negative 3. Then we move aside. We subtract the pi over 4. So that's shift here, pi over a 4 like this. So let us close our bracket and see. So that's 32,9902, three decimal places as we have fixed our calculator. So that's 32,99, just like that. So it is up to you. Do not forget, guys, under exam condition, to bring back your calculator or to convert back your calculator to the degrees. Because if you use your calculator in radians for anything under a trig function, that is to use a sign, a cost, those answers are going to be wrong. So make sure that you convert back. So shift, you go back to the setup. We want to go back to the degrees number three. So that's it. As we can see, our calculator is having the D. We are back to the normal uh, degrees. And also some of you guys were asking, how do we convert? How do we remove the fix that we used there, this fix? So this is how we get rid of the fix. You just have it this way, shift you go to the setup, then you press normal, which is number eight, then press two, all right? Just like that, as you can see, your calculator is back to its normal state. The normal state of a calculator, you're just supposed to see these two things, the D and this mat, only these two, unless maybe if you are using other type of calculator or another presentation, but you're supposed to just have these two, all right? If you're having any other part that you're seeing, a lot of things written on your calculator. Reset your calculator or just go back to the normal mode. So that's it, guys. Um, under this question, we are going to have a continuation, not on this on these questions, but uh, on the topic on its own of the AC theory. As uh, we can see that we have a lot of things that we need to cover. So if there are questions specifically that you have, uh, make sure that you become part of the membership so that you can send those questions. We attempt those questions uh, together. So that's it, guys. Uh, till we meet again.